I like women that have balls. And Sandy has balls. No, 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 no. That doesn't work that Just way. Just chop, chop, chop. No. The weather permitting, nope. you're going to stay yes. inside. So you guys work it out. Where did that come from? She's Just pretty much uh, gone against the grain her whole life. You know, every stereotype that uh, she's played against. You know, being a female, you know, being a lesbian. They're bigger balls than most men. And I'll, I'll say it, I don't care. If you act like a businessman and you're a woman, you're called a bitch. She actually said that once. She said, you know, I'm called a bitch. But she says, I'm only acting like a man in business. We're only on C's, people, okay? So, I got all night. How do you guys feel? Although it might not necessarily be my way, it's her way. If you make excuses for doing something wrong, big mistake. I think that she's just very forceful and in control and, and powerful and, and knows what she wants and executes it. And I think that that's normal. I think that the fact that she's a woman kind of makes people think differently of her. But if she was a man, it's just very normal as a successful person. She'd be a dick if she were a man. <laughs> you know, when she likes you, she makes you feel really good. When she doesn't like you, she doesn't make you feel very right good. Some people will say, oh, she's a bitch, she's all this. But I learned unless you are strong-willed and unless you speak up, or even sometimes, as they say, become a bitch, that's the only way people will listen to you in this town. A lot of people just say, you know, well, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do that because there's a wall. It's like, there's no such thing as a wall with her. You know, she's, if anything, she likes the wall. I want to, I want to tear it down. I mean, if a man was like that, they're, that's, you know, they're, they're, they're respected. But when a woman does that, they're hard to deal with, they're annoying. If Sandy wants something, she wants something. She's relentless. She's competitive. She never gives up. I've always been a big, firm believer in it being around people I admire and people that I want to be like. And um, Sandy always was that type of person. She goes with what her gut and her heart tells her, not what someone else tells her. Sandy wants three things from you. She wants you to do your personal best. You don't have to be the best in the world, your personal best. She wants you to be honest and she wants you to be loyal. Sandy's an incredibly loyal person. And, what, and I can tell you examples of her loyalty. I mean, I've seen her do some amazing things. She will always put her, her her best foot forward, whether it's the right thing to do or not. I wouldn't work for someone I didn't respect. I think that Sandy's just a really smart businesswoman, and she's I, she's done it in every aspect of every one of her businesses, and she just survives, you know. And I think that's really the name of the game. I think if she's taught me anything in my career, um, is that it really is about longevity, and it really is about. Um, establishing yourself in the long haul. Working with Sandy and Robin 19 years. I've been with Sandy for 15 years now. I have worked for the last five years as stage um, manager. Started actually in this booth January of 2000. She was the first one to do an 80s night and everyone copied it. She's done a lot of things like that and everyone copied it later and then it gets run to the ground. Sandy and Robin are the original lipstick lesbians. That's where the term comes from. It's a compliment that people want to be like them and sort of follow in their footsteps because they are iconic within the community. I think Sandy and Robin were the pioneers. As their relationship evolved and they became this couple that other lesbian couples identify with or want to be like or aspire to. Come be a part of us. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, we, we accept everyone, and they do. Girl Bar just celebrated uh, 19 years. Those that last are the ones that can are, are most adaptable to change. They listen to their to their crowd. They they see what are we trying to attract? Who are we trying to bring in here? And I think when you do that, you're gonna you're gonna last a long time. Girl Bar, unlike any other promotion, offered something for the women's community that had only been experienced by men up until that point. It's about being able to provide uh, a safe haven for women on a Friday night. I am the only comedian who has ever done Dinah Shore nine years in a row. I mean, there, there's nothing else like it in the world, and it only happens once a year, so it's a huge, huge yeah, major event for me. It's huge. It's, it's just like 10,000 lesbians show up from all over the world. It's crazy. This is much more global. There's something to be coordinated, something that needs to be organized, something that needs to be researched. Uh, I'm the go-to guy. So we're gonna do the normal stage that we do, you know, with a nice big backdrop. Boom, 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 boom. 50 go-go dancers. White Roman columns. Blow it out. Pool party. VIP. I mean, think about it, do you know any club or any event that really has been going on that long at this level? We're Robin and Sandy. Welcome to Girl Bar Dinosaur Week. 
it's something that they all enjoy. It's hotels, you can do your own thing, and the parties are there, and the entertainment is there, and it's very high energy. I would say try to do all the events, really, honestly, so you can get kind of a feel for everything, from the comedy show, to the pool parties, to you know the white party, whatever it is, just try to get to all the events. Nothing prepares you for what you experience. You, you always know the level of what you're gonna get, and it's always a high, classy level, and I think that as long as that continues, it's gonna be here forever. Well, I'm gonna draw it. I wanna see My whole coming out life had been in New Orleans. Very, very uh, first uh, gay bar I stepped out to in, in New Orleans was the Bourbon Pub and Parade on uh, Bourbon and St. Anne. I wanna know what kind of old car